window with uh, a good specialist of dolphins wrote this morning it's wonderful people gave their time gave their energy not for other humans but for uh, the sea people the dolphins orcas belugas and even whales to educate our children. That's why I'm so happy that I see here this young guy. What's your name? Dylan. I want to... Uh, uh, also Merlin. Where is Merlin? Can Merlin come to the front here? ambassador uh, for dolphins and whales and uh, next year with a campaign he's going to take uh, be a, a very important person for this campaign and um, I want you all to have an applause for these children because these children are the future they need to tell others that dolphins in captivity is just so stupid okay applause for the children Hi, Rick O'Barry here. We're in Belgium, in uh, Brussels, Belgium, and we're going to be meeting with the uh, Animal Welfare Committee to see if we can get dolphinariums banned in Europe. You can help. You can help with this issue by going to this website, www.japandolphinsday, and see if there's a demonstration happening in your city on September 1st. If not, you can organize one at that website. Please help us, www.japandolphinsday.net. Okay, see you on September 1st. I think we just will follow Rick and Maria. Maria. <laughs> Maria. We'll follow Maria. Can we take some dolphins with us? Yep. Captivity! 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 
Monsieur, bonjour. Oui, on peut entrer Oui. Uh, you have to go? Yeah, I lost mine. I'll be back. I have to go to a meeting in this okay. building. So I'll find you. Okay, thank you. Hello. Uh, Rico, Barry and Yvo, uh, Rico, Barry and Yvonne are going inside now to talk about captivity. Woo! So uh, we will be awaiting them for them to come back and see uh, what they have to say. And Rick wants to say something. Actually, we're going inside to ask for a ban on dolphin captivity in Europe. We're going to ask for that. Ik spreek Nederlands. Ja, 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 ik wou ook graag mee. Ik weet niet of dat mag. Ik wil alleen al. Ja. Dan mag je meekomen. Ik ben paranoid. Ik kan niet. Ik zat daar niet wat. Ik blijf maar een niet mee. Oh, jammer. Ja, maar wat, wat, wat gaan we dan straks horen? Hebben jullie een persconferentie? Of uh, do you have a press conference afterwards? Uh, you know, for you, for, you know, for a journalist, we want to be present with the talks. That would be the best. Yeah. I, I was inviting uh, press, but uh, they are not interested. Yes. Okay, okay. German? Pays-Bas, oui. Enfin, en uh, ne uh, Nederlands. Uh, oh, maar waar ben ik hier?
Pas bien, ça mort. Nee, nee. Tout petit peu le feu. Moeten we naar boven? Ja, ah. op 7 verdieping. Van wie is dit gebouw? Wat is dit voor een gebouw? Vol gezondheid. Van? Vol gezondheid. just banned captivity. Mm -hmm. from uh, paradise and <laughs> say, oh, I will keep the dolphins. It's so much money, yeah. because it's money. Excuse for animal abuse! It's not excuse for animal abuse! The best way to bring about change for the common good is by example. So my hope is that Belgium will ban, there's only one dolphin area, which mm -hmm. doesn't even have a license, apparently. But I've been there many times, and it's, it's, it's a spectacle of dominance. There's nothing, there's no connection between dolphin shows and conservation or education. They simply bastardize the definition of education. The solution is, one, stop capturing dolphins. Two, those that can be free should be free. Not all of them can. Those that can be transferred to a natural sea enclosure where they have the natural rhythms of the sea and the tides and the currents and the sky and the Bruges, they don't even see the sky. They think that the ceiling is the sky. Mm -hmm. These are freaks that we created for our amusement and we sell it to young children as education. There's no excuse for animal abuse! There's no excuse for animal abuse! So it's not just about the dolphins, it's about Belgium children mm -hmm. who are learning all the wrong things. Captivity kills! Captivity kills! Captivity kills! Captivity kills! But to phase it out gently, no captive breeding, no importation, it will quietly go away. Okay. It has no social redeeming value whatsoever, dolphins in captivity. So yeah, our hope is that Belgium will be, take the lead like India did and set an example, send a message, positive message about Belgium's respect for nature by banning dolphin captivity. If you set an example for the rest of Europe, that would be on the right side of history. That industry is on the wrong side of history. No question about that. Anybody can figure that out. Free the dolphin! Free the dolphin! You know, what happens if we have a million? What happens? Well, then the Commission is obliged to take an initiative. An initiative that means not to ban or whatever, but she has to stay and do something. Yeah. Huh? And, and one million. One million signatures. That's the, that's the, that's the democracy. Yeah. So I don't have any faith in the governments 
doing this work. It's really the people in the street, the people who buy the tickets. Uh, the work is about appealing to them. Please be a responsible consumer. If I'm wearing ivory, I'm the reason the elephant has, has a problem. Not the guy in the jungle with the shotgun. Me, the consumer. <laughs> The message will be transferred to transmitted to the Minister of Animal Welfare, Lorette Onkelings. Now the last the next step is to get one million petitions for a well known petition, you know, because then the European Commission will be obliged to listen to us and to study the problem of a total banning of dolphin area in Europe. sensitive to public opinion. The uh, Minister of uh, Animal Welfare is sensitive to public opinion. So the fact that all of you came here today from the United Kingdom and Spain and Greece and Belgium and Holland and wherever uh, is very, very important. That got their attention. You got their attention today. So thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Leef jij nog? <laughs> ja. Oh. Ja, still alive and kicking.